How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we are going to take a look and see if rolling here still makes a difference when using precision farming in Farming Simulator 22. And you might be wondering, well, Driver, why in the world are you going to roll your grass fields with grass still on it? Well, the reason is because it doesn't uh, go away whenever you roll over your fields here. And what this is going to do by rolling your fields, it allows it to be ready to be harvested one month sooner than it would if you leave it just as it is right now. So we've got this awesome piece of equipment right here, the Dalbo Maxi Roll 630 Green Line. And we are gonna go ahead and fire up this New Holland right here. Both these pieces of equipment are base game. And we're running everything here with precision farming turned on. And this is what our nitrogen looks like right now. It's all the way at the bottom. We've got a few spots of zero and we've got a few spots of 20. And what I wanna see here is if we are going to get any additional nitrogen added to our field as we roll over this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and hire a worker. I'm gonna go ahead and step out right here. And as you guys can see right there, it is rolling. It's taking it back to the status that it needs to be. Now let's go ahead and jump over here and take a look at our fertilizer. And as you guys can see, it's not making a difference. Now I'll show you exactly where the worker is right there. They are making their way across and um, no, it's not adding any additional nitrogen here to the field at all. Well, everybody, that's going to be another short and sweet video here. A lot of you guys were asking this question, and I just wanted to show you right here with video proof that this is the result that we get. You know, it's not perfect, but I still think if you do this, you are going to be able to get your grass one month earlier, and then you can go ahead and put your fertilizer on it like you normally would with all your other crops. Now, I know you're having to spend a little bit more money here, but hopefully you're not having to use as much fertilizer by doing it this way. But everybody, that's going to be it. Enjoy the video. Go and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on everything precision farming here on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're at it, go and check out one of these other two videos right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.